Hey guys, let me show you Startup Scene Manager. This is a small but really useful add-on I created for Blender. With this one, you will be able to save different startup files and load them. For example, when you will restart Blender or click on File, New, General, it will load the Startup Scene you set. For example, if I go in default, I will be able to manage my different startup scenes, open, set as default, update and remove them. So you will see in this video what you can do with this add-on and I hope you will like it. Let's see how to install this Startup Scene Manager add-on. So go in Edit menu, choose Preferences. Go into Add-ons, click on this little icon and choose Install from Disk. Select the zip file of the add-on and click on Install from Disk. The add-on will be automatically activated and if you click on this little arrow, you will be able to check the add-on preferences. So here you will see the version and you will have the info tab. After that you will have the documentation and some links. In the info tab, the first thing you will see is for the update. If you didn't activate the Allo Online Access in System Network, you will have this message, activate allow online access in the system network to check for update. So activate it and you will be able to click here to check for update. As you can see at the bottom, you will have the information and you will have an information if there is an update here. After that, you will have the links for the add-on if you didn't bug it and you will have information for the customers on our Discord. You can click here to have more information. After that, you will have information about the add-on itself, what it's made for. For example, this add-on is made to save startup scene. That means you will be able to edit the 3D view, edit the UI as you want and save different startup scene. So when you will click on File, New, General, it will load the startup scene you wanted. Okay. So, note. This add-on will not save the preferences. It will only save the scene and the UI. Okay? This is not a template add-on. This is startup scene add-on. After that, you need to set a default path to save your scenes. So I will click here. I will choose this folder and I will accept. So now I have my scene and my path. Okay. So, like I said, you will have the documentation to save the startup scene, to manage the startup scene, and the links. Let's see how to create our first startup scene. So, let's get rid of some parts of the 3D view. Let's move this. I don't want this since I'm not an animator. So, let's, hop là, as we can see, I have some difficulties. I want to change the view. Let's enter this. Let's enter this. Let's like that. Okay. So this is nice like that. I want to use a cycle. I want to use a GPU. I want to active the do noise. As you can see, I will keep it like that. And the uh, viewport sample. Let's enter uh, this. Okay. And for the render, let's enter this. I will hide this one. And that's it. Uh, I think I'm okay with that. What I will do now is to click on File, Default, Save Startup Scene. Okay. I will be able to give it a name, Base. And I will be able also to set it as Default Startup Scene. So when I will click on File, New, General, it will load this scene. So I will click on this and I will click on OK. Okay, so let's see. I will go in edit mode. I can duplicate this, etc. File, new, general. And as you can see, this is the startup scene I saved previously. Okay, so uh, let's see. I want to say to launch um, a startup scene. Let's see like that. I will come here. File, default, save startup scene. Let's name it base. So if I do this, for example, you will see I have the same name. So a name name base already exists. I can overwrite it and set it as default. But I will make a base full screen like that. Up. I will click at uh, OK, just like that. So it saved the scene. 
And if I go inside my manager startup scene, hop, I will have my both uh, scenes. So I can set the one I want. So this is the one that is set as default. I can select this one. I can click on this little icon, set a startup scene. So set the selected scene as the Blender startup scene. I will click OK. And for example, let's duplicate this to show you that that will be a new startup scene. So file, new, general. I don't want to save. And that's it. If I want to set the other one, I will select it, click here. And now if I go on file, new, general, I will have my previous startup scene. So like that, you will never lose your startup scenes. You will be able to create as many startup scenes as you want. So as you can see, you can come here. You will have different settings. For example, you will have this one. For example, if I click here, I will open the file. Okay, let's create a new scene. If I click here, that will set the selected startup scene as blend, default Blender startup scene. And for example, if I want to update this scene, so let's see, uh, I want to activate this Amplify, just to show you just, just this. I will not change uh, anything else. Uh, yes, it's okay. I will come here, up, default, manage. I have my base and I will click here, update the scene. Set up, set it as startup scene and click OK. So now when I will create a new scene, general, as you can see, I will have my startup scene and the simplify. To show you exactly, let's select the other one. I will open this one like that. File, new, general. And as you can see, it works. My simplify is now set. So that's it. This is as simple as that. You can save as many startup scenes as you want and manage them to uh, be able to uh, edit them. For example, I can also uh, rename this one by double clicking on it, press enter and that's it. This new scene uh, is named like that. Okay. If you want, you can also get rid of uh, another startup scene. So I will keep those two. Let's create a new one. Let's use it. Let's name it Untilited. And if I come back, I can select it and get rid of it. Are you sure you want to delete this scene? Yes. Okay. It's done. And that's it.